Brendan Bocart. Brendan, welcome. Thank you. So Brendan is the captain of the Southtown Stars. You have, uh, well, I'll let you, let you tell. What, why don't you tell me about the team that's here? Who's it comprised of? Is it boys, girls, schoolmates? Who's, who's, who's on your team? Um, well, it's mostly boys, I would say, but girl, girls can be obviously be a part of it. Um, and how old are they? 11 to 12, 11 probably. And 12. Maybe a little bit older, too. Yep. And tell me, um, just from a hockey sense, mm -hmm. When did you start playing hockey? When what I was you... like two or three, maybe. Really, that young? Yeah. Wow, that's awesome. Me too. Um, so obviously you love it because you've been playing for almost 10 years already. Yeah. You're only 12 years old, which is uh -huh. kind of cool. I wish you would start back up again. Oh, I know. So yeah. yeah, let's talk about that for a second. You played, you grew up in West Seneca, live in West Seneca, right? Yeah. Ultra yeah. Park area. Mm -hmm. And then um, I think you mentioned you played for the Southtown Stars. Mm -hmm. Have you always played for the Southtown Stars? Yes. You have? My whole, my whole hockey career. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. That's awesome. Um, I have a son, Liam, who played for West Seneca. So he played West Seneca all the way up through Squirts, and then he switched over to another organization, Junior Sabres. All right. Um, and you must play at leisure rinks all the time, right? Yeah. And West, maybe West Seneca rink? Uh-huh. Awesome. Um, so four years ago, a bunch of crazy guys played this hockey game for uh, for. Uh, 11 days straight, remember that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, did you did you come watch it all? Um, I watched like, I think so. Yeah. I don't remember that well. Yeah, I was gonna, I was, I was wondering if you did or not. Um, and did you play in the kids game that was going on on rink two? I actually played with a bunch of adults. Oh, you did? Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. It was okay. the weirdest thing ever. Okay. But it was, it was fun though. Okay. Yeah. And that was going on during our 11 day power play game. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay. Um, so, the 11 a power play is we raise money for cancer research and we raise money for places like make a wish and camp good days no shy children's hospital do you do you want to tell me who you're playing for during this game um i'm playing in memory of my dad he really loves hockey and he was a cancer survivor so this is pretty important to him yep his yeah. dad was a friend of mine he was he was and he All was right. a really really great guy and i yeah. miss him me too um I don't know if you know this, but our community shift is very much has your dad's fingerprint on it because when we did our original 40 event, mm -hmm. we had an event that your dad ran. So we were playing our game and on the other ice, we played a 24 hour game, mm -hmm. hour at a time, and you played in it. And we had we had teams from all over play, we had teams from Olean and um, outside of Buffalo and a lot of Buffalo teams. So yeah. they came in, played, they all raised money, and they left. And that was for a day mm -hmm. during our event. And your dad ran that whole thing, and he organized the whole thing. Yeah, I, I know. Don't, I don't know if you know that or not. He, he did a great job. He did. So when we did our, when we finished that game, and Mrs. Lesikowski and I were kind of talking about, you know, went really well, we want to continue it. The idea was, well, we just did that for 24 hours. We can invite teams to come in and play the whole 11 days. So this event that we're doing right now that's raised over $5 million yeah. was very much, your dad had a huge part in it. And I'll never, I'll never forget that. And you know, he'll, he'll, he'll always be a part of this, which is great. Definitely. Um, anything that, uh, any memories about the 11 day? You've, you've played in a couple community shifts now. Anything that sticks out as, you know, a memory or fun or anything like that? Um, so since I played with a bunch of adults, I just thought it was hilarious how they all went easy on me. <laughs> like they would just like try so hard to just like let me score a goal. <laughs> it was the funniest thing ever. Well, that goes away when you get a little bit older. Cause I bet, yeah. yeah. When, you, when you're 10 and 11, you get away with that. Mm -hmm. Now you're to the age where you're, be you're gonna get better than those adults. So uh, that's not that's probably not gonna happen for very much longer. Yeah, not gonna lie, I'm kind of nervous cause I'm, I haven't played in so long and I bet I'm really rusty and I'm just trying to not, trying not to screw this up, <laughs> so. Well, I've played a couple times, and if you think you're rusty, uh, as you get older, it gets harder. But we had, we've had a bunch of teams play ready. I played. It's a ton of fun. Um, mm -hmm. And you guys are kids. You've, you've played ball hockey, road hockey, in the driveway or whatever, in your basement. Yeah. So um, with that, your, your friends are out there warming up. Um, gear up and go have some fun. All right. Yeah. Great talking to you. You too.